Good evening, fellow misanthropes. Welcome to the latest pitiful display of our existence, Black Pilled News for October 11th, 2024. Let's dive into the absurdity from New Zealand, where a ship sank, but not because she's a woman. Who knew defense ministers could feel anything? Apparently, this one was appalled, breaking the mold of stoic indifference typical of such roles, much like a titanic captain with an even greater lack of skill. Over in the US, we have Marjorie Taylor Greene regurgitating a CBS report that claims weather can be controlled with lasers. Ah, uh, nothing like a politician's embrace of pseudoscience. Let's pray she doesn't escalate this fascination into an ill-fated attempt to microwave a hurricane. In a revealing spectacle of futility, a man has developed a cone-shaped bulge on his head from excessive breakdancing. What dedication! Or perhaps a sign that abstaining from the dance floor might have been a more prudent choice. Who knew breakdancing posed actual health risks? Meanwhile, Cookie Monster has been caught speeding in Germany, cheekily remarking C is for Cookie, and that's good enough for me. Truly, I'd welcome more Muppets in jail, at least they might exhibit more accountability than some humans I know. And let's not forget Gretchen Whitmer's cringe-inducing video where she feeds Doritos to a leftist while mocking Catholics. If only all campaigns could be reduced to snack bribes, genuine innovation. Lastly, a hurricane relief worker turning out to be a neo-Nazi is the icing on this tragic cake. Here to help? More like here to ruin your day. Always check the backgrounds of those offering aid, folks. That's all for tonight's black Build news, fellow misanthropes. Stay sheltered from this farce, if you can muster the care. Good evening, I'm Mini True Archive and it's October 12th, 2024. Let's dive into the mire of black build news, like a naive child tumbling into a dumpster behind Chuck E. Cheese. First, Obama slithers back into the limelight, advising black Trump supporters, now is not the time for independent thinking. A masterclass in stifling cognition, just tell people to shut their brains off and watch the magic unfold. It's like trying to extinguish a wildfire by shouting, stop burning. Then there's that Trump general calling the ex-president fascist to the core. Irony's rich when it comes from someone wrapped in military garb. It's akin to a child telling a dentist, your job's a nightmare, can I have more candy? Speaking of Trump, the man's labeling his adversaries scum and animals who have infected the US. Hard to argue with that especially when you inspect the grotesque menagerie in today's political arena. In more absurdity, Star Wars introduces its first transgender stormtrooper. How thrilling, another layer of nonsense on the cultural cake. Just picture the squad, our blasters shoot, but how do we feel about pronouns? Meanwhile, AI companies are on a quest to create a god. Shouldn't that require a nod from humanity first? I can imagine the board meeting. Before we play God, can we check with the human race? Maybe a thumbs up? Lastly, Democrats are avoiding questions on certifying results if Trump wins. It's like saying, I'll endure your cooking, but first, what's in the poison? That's a wrap for tonight's Black Pilled News. Just remember, if it seems utterly ludicrous, it almost certainly is. Stay tuned, if you dare. Good evening, miserable souls. Welcome to the dark abyss known as the Mini True Archive, presenting the Black Pilled News for October 13th, 2024. Let's crawl through this week's highlights, starting with Kamala Harris's grotesque appearance on SNL. Watching her wave a Glock was like seeing a cat on a Roomba, humorous yet chilling. The skit was supposed to confront gun violence, but the real twist? Kamala outshined Trump's lunacy. Next, we have Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, who paraded his so-called firearms expertise with a lavish $2,100 shotgun on a hunting trip. 
When it was time to load up, it devolved into a farcical display more suited for a clown show than a leader. Apparently, gun safes now come with settings for the inept. In a darkly ironic turn, a neo-Nazi met his demise after plummeting 200 feet from Hitler's favorite mountain. This wasn't just a stumble, he was literally trying to elevate his hatred, falling for extremism, if you will. Meanwhile, professors at elite colleges are stunned to discover that their students can't read. If TikTok can teach them to dance, surely they should grasp Huckleberry Finn. Reading should be brain gym, yet these kids choose the drive through instead. Finally, with Joe Biden's impending exit, Hunter Biden's art has lost value faster than stocks crashing. From contemporary art to good luck giving this away, it's like finding expired milk in your fridge. That's all for Black Build News. Embrace the madness, stay informed and keep your laughter hollow. Good evening, fellow denizens of despair. I'm Mini True Archive, where we dissect the Black Build News for the horror of October 14th, 2024. In our lead story, border czar Kamala Harris faces a spectacular collapse, with the National Border Patrol Council snubbing her leadership to endorse the ever loathsome Donald Trump in Arizona. One can only ponder her dismay, if only the Border Patrol would take selfies with me. But don't worry, if Harris somehow takes charge, she's declared that every community in this wretched country is destined for damnation. Time to consider a permanent escape. Meanwhile, Democrats threaten to reject election results if Trump wins, redefining democracy into a farcical game where they will only validate outcomes that cater to their whims. It's a ghastly musical chairs scenario, but guess what? The chairs have mysteriously vanished. In yet another absurd twist, Trump proposes to turn the military into a scene from Full Metal Jacket. Just imagine future recruitment videos with a drill sergeant berating recruits while one nervously stammers, I'm in, for the donuts. Lastly, prepare for an October surprise that's far from shocking. A NASA Link director is about to reveal evidence of alien life. As if our earthly calamities weren't enough, now we're to confront extraterrestrial intruders. This election may very well be the first where both parties vie for the votes of little green beings. That's the Black Pilled News. Stick around. We're here to dissect this madness or at least flail in the darkness. Good evening, residents of this dismal planet. It's October 15th, 2024, and here's the latest from the abyss known as Black Pilled News. In an utterly predictable turn of events, a new migrant caravan is trudging northward, desperately trying to escape the shadow of a possible Trump administration. This is becoming as tiresome as watching an old sitcom rerun, same farcical script, different faces, and an endless cacophony of discord. In a bizarre twist, a top Pentagon official claims drone swarms patrolling U.S. military bases are operated by a mothership UFO. Remarkably, the Air Force, the White House, and NASA are left scratching their heads. Clearly, these aliens are more interested in our snack selections than anything else. Meanwhile, in a truly innovative display of absurdity, the unemployed are being pushed to take weight loss jabs just to return to the dismal workforce. Because nothing screams get back to work like a forced injection. Soon, we'll have get fit or get fired boot camps, just what this dystopia needs. On a more troubling note, Kamala Harris is mired in plagiarism allegations that jeopardize her campaign. Her publisher must be sweating bullets, recalling my own blunders when I used my pet goldfish's diary for an essay. In this bleak world, who hasn't borrowed a few ideas, right? Finally, Bill Clinton claimed Lake and Riley would still be alive with proper migrant vetting. Yes, Bill. When I think of border safety, he's at the top of my list. After all, he's a pro at dodging scandal. 
That's all for Black Build News. Stay tuned for more daily updates if you dare to witness the ongoing train wreck that is humanity. Good night. Good evening, esteemed spectators of this circus we call society. It's October 16th, 2024, and I'm Mini True Archive, here to spotlight the absurdity showcased in today's Black Build News. In our lead performance, Democrats lament that Donald Trump appeared lost and confused during his latest public farce. Is this really news? It's akin to reporting that the sun sets in the West. Predictably banal. They've claimed this is part of their anti-MAGA campaign, but it feels more like they're recycling the tragic comedy of his past. Let's be honest, it's just Trump news, featuring the most bewildered figure of our time. In Celebrity Absurdities, UK politician Keir Starmer was spotted with Taylor Swift after snagging free tickets to her concert. Truly, nothing epitomizes genuine political affiliation like betraying the electorate while shaking it off with a pop star. Expect the new UK policy, shake it off as the anthem for diplomacy. In a monumental display of judicial folly, the UK's highest court now decrees calling a man bald is sexual harassment. Yes, folks, baldness is a protected class. If you're inclined to comment on a man's shiny scalp, just whisper, you resemble a wise owl, and pray for mercy. Meanwhile, Joe Biden declares a desire to see Trump imprisoned. Fair enough, considering Kamala warned Trump plans to investigate his rivals. Brace yourselves as every politician may soon become an unwilling contestant on who wants to be a mugshot millionaire. And finally, in Georgia, a judge ruled that election officials must certify results, even with fraud suspected. We're at that thrilling juncture where votes are cast and fingers are crossed, reminiscent of my last family reunion. That's the curtain for tonight's Black Build News. Remember, this existence is nothing but a grand performance of chaos. Good evening, lost souls. Welcome to the grim spectacle of October 17th, 2024, in the Black Build News. In a twist nearly absurd enough for a tragedy, Amazon is betting on nuclear reactors for its data centers. That's right. Now you can order your self-help book while being irradiated. Nothing screams convenient delivery like packages that come with a side of radiation. In a particularly grotesque turn, Donald Trump has upped the ante on his bizarre comments about Haitian immigrants, claiming they're eating other things. How delightful! Because why settle for blatant xenophobia when you can mix it with culinary confusion? Meanwhile, X is flooded with AI bots churning out pro-Trump and pro-GOP propaganda. Great! Now, not only do we have real-life idiots to tolerate, but an army of soulless algorithms is there to inundate us with delusions of a messianic Trump. If only these bots could sort out my taxes, maybe they'd serve a purpose. And then there's Bill Clinton, showing up at Ethel Kennedy's funeral to declare, your mother was the cat's meow. Because nothing brings depth to a somber occasion like dad jokes. Who knew a farewell could double as a comedy set? Lastly, the FBI has quietly revised crime statistics to reveal a rise in violence. How reassuring to see even they engage in denial, playing their own version of let's ignore the problem. Crime is like an unending nightmare, it may seem to fade, but it will always return for more. And that's the black Belt news, now, fade into the void. Good evening, everyone, or rather, welcome to another chapter of our collective misery. It's October 18th, 2024, and here it is, the latest from Black Build News. In our lead story, a German publication claims Ukraine could possess nuclear weapons within weeks. Astonishing. I thought they were merely looking to inflate their energy bills. Why not turn the whole country into a nuclear disaster zone for winter? 
Next up, an EU commissioner dares to label Elon Musk a promoter of evil. A Musk hater in Europe, how shockingly original. That's akin to denouncing the Tooth Fairy for promoting bad dental health. When the architect of space travel and electric cars is painted as the villain, where does one find hope? Maybe we ought to let him flee to Mars and leave the rest of us to rot. In more heartwarming news, former Canadian Olympian Ryan Wedding has been charged with drug trafficking and murder. Quite the maneuver in sports, I'd say. Apparently, losing in Canada comes with far graver repercussions than disappointing one's mom. Who knew Slopestyle had such a grim underbelly? Meanwhile, in Atlanta, a sheriff summoned backup over a mix-up at Burger King because nothing screams emergency quite like a botched chicken sandwich. What's next? A SWAT call for incorrect fries? Good thing it wasn't McDonald's. Now that would be a crisis. Finally, President Biden announced $4.5 billion in student debt relief for 60,000 public service workers. I guess someone got tired of the endless debt collector calls. What's more shocking? the $4.5 billion or the fact that 60,000 still toil in public service. They must truly relish their predicament or the joy of being broke. That's it for Black Pilled News. Join us tomorrow for more spectacles from this farcical existence. Good evening, miserable souls. Let's dive headfirst into the cesspool of October 19th. 2024, Blackpilled News, lest I find myself devoured by the absurdity of it all. In our leading story, endangered Democrats are now shamelessly flaunting their ties to Trump as their campaign flounders. If they can't muster a single coherent idea, they might as well cling to the enemy and pray for a miracle. It's akin to attempting to salvage a sinking vessel by seeking navigational tips from the iceberg itself. In a theatrical rebuttal, Trump roasted Kamala Harris for suggesting he looks exhausted, as if she's a beacon of vitality. This ghostly figure was notably MIA at the Al Smith dinner, presumably frightened by the prospect of being turned into the carbon-based equivalent of pyrotechnics. And in a deliciously grotesque twist, a 19-year-old girl had her face horrifically gnawed off by a deranged stranger on a bus turning an ordinary commute into a gruesome horror flick. Passengers must have felt like unwilling extras in an origin story for the next Marvel supervillain. In a marvel of medical irony, a man from Kentucky, pronounced brain dead, astonishingly awoke during organ harvesting. It's a lovely reminder that if you linger long enough in this miserable existence, you might just be granted a fresh lease on life, or at least a new collection of organs. Lastly, a panel convened by Homeland Security is calling for a total reconstruction of the Secret Service. How delightful! But let's cross our fingers that it veers away from a total overhaul and lands somewhere between a minor tune-up and a pathetic adjustment of their superhero getup. That wraps up today's black news. And remember, if reality becomes too unbearable, simply tune it out, much like Kamala at the dinner. Good night and good riddance. Good evening, fellow misanthropes. Welcome to the farcical circus of human folly known as Black Build News for October 20th, 2024. In the twisted landscape of politics, the heat is rising faster than a golf cart being chased by existential dread in the sweltering hellscape of Florida. Donald Trump, ever the harbinger of absurdities, has now gushed about Arnold Palmer's supposed virility, proclaiming him all man. One can only wonder if he's referencing oversized golf clubs or some other delusion, but let's be real, Arnold Palmer carved out a legacy with sweet tea, not the rotting underbelly of political backroom dealings. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris, in a ghostly display that would make the great Houdini weep, has pulled off a disappearing act that Walter Mondale would begrudgingly admire. She's managed to be the sole presidential nominee to snub the Al Smith dinner since Mondale got obliterated by Reagan in 84, 
a move akin to declaring, I'm only here to witness the decline, not be part of the roast. And for those masochistic enough to check the 2024 election polls, do yourself a favor and stop. Engaging with these numbers is as fruitful as trying to watch your diet while binging on a second double cheeseburger, futile and soaked in self-loathing. Speaking of self-loathing, the Democratic Party is spiraling into a black hole of despair, caught in a grotesque game of musical chairs, where nobody dares to be the final loser standing. Lastly, there's the ever-elusive Donald Trump, a mythical creature in the political realm, akin to the Loch Ness Monster. Sometimes visible, often shrouded in farce, yet everyone has their wild tale to tell. Hold on to your seats, because the 2024 election promises to be a tragic comedy worthy of the darkest section in the annals of human history. That's all for Blackpilled News. Stick around for more absurdity.